Hey, how's it going? Otaki Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. And today we are looking at a new manga. We are doing a manga first impressions video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, uh, so I might be a little rusty. Uh, but today we are looking at Monster Marriage Shop. This is a new title uh, published by Seven Seas under their Ghost Ship line, and we're going to take a look at it and see how it is. So, Monster Marriage Shop starts out with a guy named Yuta. And Yuta... Yuta is a professional matchmaker. For one particular reason, because he wants to give his mom a happy relationship after her, her, his dad died, basically. And, uh, sadly to say the least, uh, Yuta's mother uh, has dated several men over the years that have not been very good. And for some reason or another, I really don't know why, it gives our main boy, Yuta here, uh, a mommy complex. And he's pretty open about this mommy complex uh, that he has, which is a little odd, but kind of funny, uh, to say the least. And one day after he had gone to a wedding, uh, he got a text from his mom. And his uh, mom's like, hey, this is the new guy that I met. And he's like 74 years old. And Yuta kind of freaks out, gets off the, the, the bus or the train that he was on, and ends up in Monster Town. And he meets this young werewolf girl named Uruuru. I hope I said that. Uruuru. I hope I said that name right. You know. We find out this is a magical town within somewhere in Japan where people aren't supposed to be able to get to because there's a barrier. And Uruuru, uh, she is an heiress, a werewolf heiress. And she, uh, she doesn't really have any really big redeeming qualities other than the fact that she's rich. And she's, she's a cute lady. She's a cute lady, you know. And as they are talking uh, and whatnot at a bar, because Uruuru takes Yuta to a bar, they, uh, she finds out that he's a matchmaker. And she's like, oh, hey, I would like to hire you to... Uh, hook me up with somebody, you know, so he starts talking about like the pros and cons of you know uh, Marriage and stuff like that and whatnot and uh, we find out that Cupid actually exists and uh, he's like hey To you to he's like hey hey man look you you can't be taking my job and whatnot like that and He actually ends up shooting a in the back and makes a kind of fall in love with Uta as this is all going on, Uta gets the bright idea that, hey, I want to basically set up shop in Monster Town and uh, fill a void. Apparently, monster women or girls are having a problem with finding the perfect man. And that's what Uta basically does. Uh, with the help of Aruru, because she has finances and a place for him to stay, because she's like Buku rich. Uh, and she becomes his manager, even though she kind of, like, likes him. She likes him. It's like a weird, like, like thing where she she wants to find somebody, but she thinks she, she maybe she thinks she might found her perfect man right here with the mommy complex, you know. But as this manga goes along, um, it's interesting to see exactly where the story goes, because the story kind of breaks up into these little... Uh, almost standalone stories, kind of. They're sort of connected where we meet this pop idol vampire who uh, she wants money more than blood. She's kind of like a gold digger-ish, kind of. And the one that I really thought was really funny is we meet a Gorgon. And the Gorgon, um, she's like a teacher by day and she like low-key writes like BL, like smutty manga at night. And she's like a uh, uh, closeted otaku, which I thought was really funny. And there was another girl that they meet who's a succubus, and she's like a... I really don't know why she's there exactly. Uh, she's she she's basically a prostitute, and she likes to uh, suck people's stuff out, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's set up to where these stories were... He only really sets up one person at the very beginning with, with their right person. But they kind of go about looking for people. We, we get more of the backstories of these particular characters, the cast of characters, in this first volume. 
it's 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 a really interesting story i feel like in a sense and um it was fun it was a fun story it's really etchy it's a really really etchy story uh there's a lot of funny like etchy gags and whatnot uh, i'm really curious if this is going to be like a, a harem or more of like a romantic comedy it seems like because by the way this ends it seems like Uruuru uh, seems to have really big feelings for Uta, you know. So now let's talk about the artwork. The artwork is good, in my personal opinion. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Um, it, it's 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 your pretty standard like romantic comedy, like Monster Girl thing that they got going on and whatnot. Um, it's pretty. Pretty out there, pretty etchy and whatnot. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, um, artwork, the artwork's really good. I really like it. Um, not really much to say if you're not really into this type of, um, like, manga. Uh, if you're not into the etchy stuff, you're not really gonna like this particular series. But you can see it is definitely stuffed with fan service in a sense all in all i had a lot of fun with this particular first volume of monster marriage shop it'll be interesting to see exactly where this goes in the future um but it's a lot of fun if you enjoy stuff like monster musume and stuff like that like a good etchy rom-com this will definitely be for you like i said before I don't know if this is going to be a harem or if this is going to be more focused on Yuta doing his job while Loki, their relationship starts to blossom and whatnot. But who knows, you know, because there seems to be a little bit of competition with slightly with some of the monster girls like Yuta for reasons. Um, some of them do. It's more one, one really, um, but yeah. All in all, this is a fun manga if you're into the spicy, etchy monster girl stuff. If you're not into the monster girl stuff, this manga will not be for you. It's not for everybody. Like I said, everybody has different tastes when it comes to um, romantic comedy manga. I guess you could say, and not everybody loves the etchy. But yeah, I give my stamp of approval to Monster Marriage Shop. Definitely worth the read if you are interested. Check it out. Peace out. Stay safe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.